R is one of the leading data analysis packages out there. Not only that, it's free due to the fact that it's so widespread. There are loads and loads and loads of packages available for it. So depending on what you want to do, you just install the package. So in this case, I've installed Quandl. Now since I've already installed it, I don't need to do it again. Once you've installed it, you just load up the library using the library command. Again, in this case, I've already done it. The reason I did that is because Quandl, and you can go to the website quandl.com, has tens of thousands of data sets. So you can jump straight in and look at the type of things you're interested in. So in this case, what I did was I loaded EPI 74. That is the average global temperature for the last 130 or so years. It's that easy. You can get economic data, social data, as I said, loads out there, which is the benefit of using one of the world leaders. So what's this data look like? So I can just type it in and there you are. So there's 131 years worth of data beginning at the end of 1880 right up to the end of 2010. Now I can plot this. Now I've got the data. What do I, I want to do with it? Well, that's basically the situation that everyone finds themselves in. So R has a rich set of models. So I can say, hmm, if I was to try and fit the data, can I model what the global temperature is behaving like? Can I predict what's going to happen? Well, all the methods, or the standard methods that people use, are already encoded within R. So you only need a few lines of code and you've done your work. Well, in this case, there's one problem. If I try and do a regression, a best line fit for the data of the for the dates against the temperature, it doesn't like the date. It doesn't because that's not a number. It's eighteen ninety six. 31st December. So to get around that I just created variables x and y. So y is just the temperature data and x is just the years. So for 1880 31st December I've just used 1880. If I do that, I can plot X and Y. And you can kind of see that that's in a strong uptrend. It's pretty much going up in a straight line with some noise, you know, the, that kind of went a bit above it, it's fallen back, but then it's essentially 
going up 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 so then I can fit the data so the warm uh, warming model is my linear model fitting this and I can just plot that with the abline command and as you can see yeah that line is a pretty good fit to the data and so using this line I could kind of go well I expect in the next 20 years the temperature is going to have jumped that little bit more that's the power of R you know that I didn't have to read any books spend weeks you know writing programs to be able to fit the best line it has a an incredible collection of tools for plotting data and as I already pointed out it has loads and loads of packages so you can just add more and more functionality to the system so I just wanted to do a quick introduction to it here we'll go into it in greater depth